Hi guys, how are you doing tonight? This is Sage from Growing Sage and I'm a growth coach and I thought it was a great night to talk to you about how to improve the energy around you. So if you know anybody who might be interested in improving your energy that surrounds you on a daily basis, please share this um, so your friends and family can hop on and get some tips. Again, I'm Sage from Growing Sage, and we're talking about energy tonight. And the topic is how to increase the energy around you by using the power of ripples. So hopefully you're interested in that. Now, we got to start by kind of talking about energy in general. And it, it took me a long time to learn all these concepts, but I want to... Uh, educate you that we everything around us is energy so if I hold my hands up my hands are energy my body is energy my emotions and my actions all create energy now most importantly of all is we're all part of a bigger collective energy so all of the energy has an impact on other energy. Now, why is it important for us to uh, learn about energy? Well, I think the biggest gift I've gotten out of learning about energy is that I have learned that I am the captain of my energy ship. And when I kind of figured out that concept, oh my God, I, I control this energy? it was lots of emotions all at once. It was, oh my God, that's so awesome. And oh my God, how did I screw all that up for so long? And um, all of those things kept bubbling up. So anyway, we're talking about energy again tonight and the power of creating this good energy around you by using ripples. And I'm Sage from Growing Sage. I'm a growth coach. So we, if we learn that everything is energy and we are the captain of our energy ship, then we can start to use those concepts to move forward. So first off, let's talk about bad days and bad things. They're always going to be there. You can't control that. Life is full of bad things and bad incidents, bad situations, grief, death, all of those things. We can't control that in life. In fact, that is part of this earth school that we are on, uh, trying to navigate on a daily basis. And we are being provided that those lessons on those bad days for opportunities for us to grow into better versions of ourselves. And so it's all part of the earth school. Now, um, if you, if you kind of take a breath and you release the fact bad things are going to happen, there's all going to be, you know, there's going to be bad days. You, you, the next step you need to understand is that our body is set up with a system of natural reactions that happen when something is going to go bad. So we have hormones and endorphins and emotions and, you know, all these chemicals and all these feelings are all going to you know, when something goes bad and we're going to have reactions to it. So, um, we're going to have these emotions that get triggered and we're going to have these defense mechanisms from past experiences that get triggered. And we are going to all of a sudden kind of go through these chain of events. Now that is our body's natural response. And although you can certainly learn about your body's natural response to things and get better at navigating that, um, you know, that's going to happen pretty regularly when something bad happens. It's the way it works. But here's the cool part. At some point during that bad situation, you're going to get a choice. You're going to get a choice if you want to stay in that bad energy or if you want to start figuring out your way to navigate out. That's all a choice. So, um, that is kind of a big aha moment. Aha. We have a choice. Oh, okay. Good to know. That sounds complicated. Well, 
when you're wrapping your head around it, it is. But once you start catching that moment, then you realize it's way more simple than you thought. Now, let me just say this again. When we get to a certain point in those bad situations, there's going to be a, a moment where you get to decide. You choose. You decide if you want to stay in that energy to continue to process it or if you're ready to start moving through that energy. Okay. Now, <clears throat> that is a huge lesson in energy and, you know, bad circumstances. But here is another big key. You also can create your own energy. You are the creator. You're the captain and you're the creator of your own energy. You're going to, the universe and God are going to give you things that you are going to experience and you still get to decide and you still get to create energy. Wow. If energy, if we are energy and energy is all around us and we can create it, how cool is that? So now is when we get to the ripples I was talking about earlier. And if you're just joining us, we're talking about energy today and how you can create this better energy around you by using ripples. So um, I'm Sage and a growth coach and I'm helping you out today with a little of that information to get you kind of excited about catching these moments. So let's now, um, I, I got a special rock in my hand. If you can see this rock that I got. And we're going to do a little visualization right now. So I've got my rock in my hand and we're going to visualize that we're, we're on the edge of this beautiful pond in this nice quiet valley. And there are these, um, beautiful cattails. Oh, I loved cattails as a kid. And there's these lily pads out on the pond and it's nice and peaceful and quiet. And there's a few little dragonflies flying around. Now, if you walk up to that pond with your rock and you're just admiring your rock, and then all of a sudden it trickles out of your hand and falls into that pond, it's going to make a little ripple. Now, if you have a different opportunity and you're standing at the edge of that pond and you throw the rock up in the air and it drops and it's going to make bigger ripples, or you can try and chuck it sidearm real hard and skip it and it's going to make all kinds of ripples. This is how energy works. Okay. And we want to be careful what we're sending out because of the law of attraction. What you send out, you're also going to get back. So, um, the, let's switch this back into a real world life with our rock. So let's say you're having like the worst day, the worst day, and you're sitting at your desk, like grinding out your work and you like totally don't want to be there. Well, <clears throat> it's time for you to go deliver something into a mailbox in your office and you know you're going to pass like half a dozen people that you work with on the way and you really just want to sit in a hole in a black room by yourself and everybody else to go away. Well, when you get up and you um, walk towards that office, you get to choose. So... You could go in kind of, nur, 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 I hate my life, everything's terrible today, blah, blah, blah. And that energy is going to be like a sludge, like a swamp that's going to, people are going to read that off of you walking in there. Or you could choose, hey, for this five minutes it takes me to go deliver this, I'm going to put a smile on my face, I'm going to lift my head high, get my shoulders back, and I'm going to think of it kind of in that same concept as standing at the pond, taking my rock and just dropping it on the edge. I'm just going to get a tiny little ripple of energy and that energy is going to go out to those people, those half a dozen people I pass on the way. And that smile 
you have to think about humans are like mirrors for each other. So that smile is going to hit them. They're going to feel it and it's going to mirror it back to you. So not only are you going to be spreading that energy, but then that, that energy is going to be reciprocated back at you. So you are choosing to make just a tiny little ripple, a tiny little ripple. Okay. On your bad day. So let me take pause here and make something very clear. Presence and intention are the keys to ripples. So I'm having my bad day. I choose to get on my desk. I choose to put a smile on my face and just kind of drop my rock in so that I can just send a little ripple out and then I can run back to my desk and and be disgruntled with life if I want to. That's my choice, okay? But it's still these tiny ripples that you're putting out. And what if that makes somebody else's day better? Or what if it makes somebody else's day better and then they're, they feel better so they mirror it back to you? How cool is that? Now, let's talk about those that being present and that intention. So let's go, let's flip to a good day. So let's say you're having a good day. You're like, okay, got a good night's sleep. I got a good workout this morning. Like I'm on top of things. My, my smoothie was awesome. All right, good day. So on a good day, you, you need to just choose to really be light and love wherever you go. Anytime you're in doubt, always go back to that. Choose to be light and love wherever you go and be present. Notice the people who need more light and love. Intend to put out more light and love. And when your cup is more full, then you have the ability on those good days to be present and intend. And, and guess what? Now you're taking your rock and you're throwing it up and whoo, there's those ripples. Even bigger. And those little lily pads are, are fluttering and dancing on the pond. Okay. So what about a great day? What do we do on a great day? Like, oh my gosh, I just got this awesome new thing I wanted and it's a great day. And I, you know, I, I feel the most rested and healthy that I felt in a long time. A great day. So, so what happens on a great day with our ripples? Well, now you have to upgrade or level up your intentions. So on a great day, you still want to keep your main theme of spreading light and love where you go. Okay. I really believe that's our purpose on this planet, but now take it one step farther and really put some serious intention behind it what could you do or what could you say that's outside of your normal comfort zone that would go above and beyond to spread even more light and joy? Could you offer to help out a coworker with something that's a little difficult? Could you take 10 minutes to really listen and truly hear somebody who needs you that day without piggybacking or say saying oh I know I had the same thing can you just be there and just push light and love to them for 10 minutes can you intend that maybe you're on your commute and you're thinking about things that you could do that would be awesome for the people you're around during the day and then maybe you see an opportunity and you grab it in the midst of the day. It's that stronger power of intention. So that's how you can navigate, navigate those great days. And guess what that is with our rock. That's when I take my sidearm back and I'm going to chuck it out there and it's going to skip multiple places and it's going to ripple, 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 ripple. Isn't that a cool feeling just to think about what you could do with your choice in your intention since you're the captain of your energy ship holy cow that's cool stuff right 
So before I wrap up with some final thoughts, I just want to um, say, say a big thank you. Because I want to say thank you to all the people who are part of Growing Sage and are following these posts and these, and these videos. You mean the world to me. And I hope that these things are giving you the strength and power to set that intention and, and spread those ripples of joy. Because uh, it really does mean the world to me. And I'm so grateful to have you. So I want to give you a few final thoughts on this concept, which were hopefully a few more nuggets to get you farther in your journey. But um, don't forget that you're the captain of your energy ship. Don't forget that. Okay. You might get stuck in some emotions for a while. You might get stuck in some energy for a while, but there will be a moment where you'll know that you can choose. Also, you can always learn these skills and this awareness to navigate your energy. Okay. And, um, I have three books. I want to start like just sharing some things that have meant a lot to me. So I have three books that are awesome for energy. And the first one is the Celestine prophecy. And this really taught me about energy. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome book. And it's a story. It's fun to read. Okay. The Secret. This taught me about the law of attraction and what you're putting out. You're getting back from the universe. And then this one, this one takes us a whole nother level, which I guarantee you there'll be another video on this. But your energy also affects your body and your wellness and your health and your quality of life. And this book gets into that. So there's a few tips because you can always choose to increase your knowledge of these subjects so that then it's easier for you to put those ripples out there and really surround yourself with good energy. Finally, um, you know, like I said, I really think one of our purposes is to learn the skills to give back to others by spreading this energy, this compassion, this light, this love. And and I just ask that you take the time each day to, to think about that pond and your rock. In, in fact, you might even want to find a little rock and put it in your pocket to remind you. And if you reach your hands in your pocket, then you can think, oh, yeah, it's about time I put some ripples out there. Just a little trick for you. So I hope you enjoyed this and again, I'm so grateful and I hope you're just, you get a chance when you get done watching this to go make some ripples and spread that beautiful energy around you. So you just get to live in that good energy whenever possible in your life because you deserve it. You really deserve it. So start choosing and intending and creating that for yourself and uh, just remember that I'm here for you and you can not only follow my posts on Growing Sage and Growing Sage Journey on Instagram, um, you can also um, join the Growing Sage group if you'd like to chat about some stuff. And uh, I've got a website called growingsagejourney.com and I put a new blog on there every week that are things you might be interested in reading. And then you can always check into my sessions that are available if you want to take this to another level and look into working one-on-one -on -one with me. Regardless, I'm happy to have you and I appreciate you. And I hope that you leave this video tonight and go make some awesome ripples. Thank you, lovelies.